Good morning. So it's a great honor to see everyone uh, coming from uh, all regions uh, to the Lincoln campus. And uh, in fact, I, I just landed in Taoyuan Airport about four, four hours ago. I was uh, in USA uh, attending actually another huge event hosted by the biggest cloud providers in Las Vegas. 65,000 people attending that huge event. It basically means the cloud business is, is red hot, right? And what they are doing is they try to convince all enterprise IT departments to go on to their cloud platforms. Imagine that. The IT department of every company in the world going on to their cloud platform. What a big business is. And it's actually becoming true. And in that event, the key message is really, everyone need to transform. Again, what is transform? It's change. Change from the existing way of doing business by leveraging new opportunity, new technology to be more effective. What is the new technology, right? Cloud, IoT, AI. These are the hot three pillars of driving the productivity gain of all the enterprises. All right, so when we say digital transformation, well, IT system has been doing digital transformation in the past 30 years. Now, this is the second wave of digital transformation with IoT, big data, cloud technology, AI. When we wrap these all together, there will be another wave of huge productivity gain. But then again, the notion of how we go about doing things has to be changed from process functional driven IT system that is designed for dedicated purpose, complicated, powerful, yet dedicated, to a data driven based on cloud platform, data fusion, connected assets, and a totally different mindset. All right, so we need to put together a few tools to speed up this process. And there will be the AIoT software services in many forms, in many ways are in the forms of microservices. And then we wrap them together to uh, bring in the ecosystem, bring in the world partners through this marketplace 2.0. The first stage is the data platform, scalable data platform, cloud technology base. The second phase is we need to decouple all the existing function modules, right? Change our habit of building system from a monolithic IT enterprise silo base to a new way of like building something with the Lego building blocks. So it's decoupled and integratable. And then it's based on the data platform. So it's going to be data driven and then um, platform would need to be able to connect it with each other, leveraging each other's strength. Once all these are in place with the domain know-how, every industry would be able to leverage the new tool and actually bring in innovation to totally change how business is done in their profession. This ecosystem, um, Gio and David in the very beginning has sh shown this uh, from the edge, particularly industrial age, everybody is very familiar with it. Then coupling that with the cloud platform, and we are all very familiar with the consumer cloud platform, how it has changed every profession in offering consumer business. Similar thing will happen to industrial business. Same thing with many of the ICE infrastructure provider. There are many past providers as well, not just WisePass. And we will need to be able to interconnect to trade the strengths with each other. And then on top of that, the innovation will come in. So we need to decouple, change the past behavior of how we build a system, changing from function driven to data driven, and integrate the I dot apps, the industry apps, glue them together with our domain knowledge, and then we refactor how a system is put together, we co-create. 
some has the knowledge of cloud technology, some has the knowledge of data science, but then the most valuable thing are the domain knowledge in each profession. In this marketplace 2.0, we are able to make each other collaborate smoothly and efficiently, reaching toward that digital transformation objectives. This is a long list of i.app, industry app, that we are going to offer in January of next year. So this is the bottom up view, a long list of industry app that can be integrated together. So think about that as the component, just like a Lego. These are the solutions. It's almost like, you know, once you put the Lego together, it becomes a car, it becomes a building, it becomes a airplane. So this is the top down view, this is the bottom up view. So from the, from the components, from the integrable i.apps, we put together these solutions. And these are actually are already working pretty well. It's available for purchase, it's available for subscription. If you are more adventurous, you can bring some AI models as well. We have landed some working AI models, leveraging the data picked up from the edge. Often, it will be very useful if we bring in some consulting service. You can explore all this journey yourself, but then it will be faster if you bring some expert with you. Bottom up, top down, if you want to bring in AI, you can. Best, you, you know, leverage the help of some experts. How do we intertwine all this together? This is a more visually intuitive way of how we represent all the iDot apps, industry apps. And not all iDot apps are equal. You know, some are generic, some are more specialized, some are even more specialized for industry. And um, starting from the edge, you know, to the, uh, the generic, to somewhat uh, industry specialized, to very industry specialized, and then along each different segments. This is how we categorize them, okay, then how we put them to work. The WisePath 2. Point, uh, WisePath Marketplace 2.0, you know, we have designed if you want to come from the objective, which is you want to come up with the solutions, you know, for a particular industry, then you start from here. You start from the destination. But if you are already an expert, you know how to put things together, you just want to know what components, what IDA apps are available, you come to here. So you can pick up, uh, pick up the raw material and put it up, put them up together yourself, or you can you know, come to here and directly say, I am interested in doing AIoT digital transformation in this particular industry. And we offer you success story, and then we offer you some basic background information. Once you go into a particular industry, we give you the full story of how you go about doing AIoT digital transformation with, you know, from the edge to the data-driven platform and to the, uh, the AI incorporating AI models and then you know, finally reaching the end. Every industry has more specialized segment. So if we you know, go into the segment, then there's a whole list of you know, solution list architecture and then you know, from edge to cloud, all the required component in that, and then success stories. So going down this list, you know, we kind of blow it up a little bit. So uh, we, on the Marketplace 2.0, we show you what pain points this particular solution will uh, address. And then the architecture, you know, the, and then the, you know, the scenario that will be used. The end story is really product and services required to implement this solution, all right? The whole structure, the whole portfolio from the edge platform, the edge software, to a cloud platform, to the database services, and to the domain-laden modules that will be put into together to reach that uh, solutions. And then this bottom, bottom part of it is, again, we would strongly recommend bring in the experts' guidance, right, with some consulting service. Hopefully it will be from our partners. And this will be the pre-sale pre-sale part of convincing a potential customer to go on with the AIoT digital transformation. This website will be there doing business seven by 24, trying to convince our targeted customers 
how to leverage AI, how to leverage IoT, how to leverage cloud technology, how to leverage data technology to change their profession. So once they are convinced and then they subscribe to the solution, then go into the, the, the this is the post-sale, the WisePass management portal. It will basically show what service they have subscribed, how much resource they are using, and if you, uh, if they like, they can add or terminate uh, additional services. If they like, they can scale up or scale down. So this is the, the interface we offer to tenants of WisePass to manage their resource and you know add or or or, or, or delete uh, uh, the subscription that they have made. All right, so marketplace basically would offer domain AI app, AI models, edge software, edge solution, and consulting services, all traded with wise points. So from the demand side uh, for domain focus SI and CCJV co-creation joint venture partners, they can do service discovering and curated experience, subscription license, service deployment, and consumption management. So once they put this solution together, they may build a new solution by themselves and use by themselves. And if you know it works really well, they can put it back, list it on to the marketplace again and sell it to the entire profession, to the entire industry. So listing, pricing, promotion, channel management, operating, bidding, will be all taken care, of, taken care of within this marketplace. What if you don't find a solution fit your need? You, you need to develop somehow to customer si somehow to fit your need. We have this so-called ap WisePass application framework services. There is a low coding AIoT solution development environment. All right, so from the edge asset, then you put in the edge embedded systems, the software layer to the data platform, scalable data platform with microservice architecture. Then the first tier of value exploration is through visualization, right? We have BI, BI type of tool, and we have 2D, 3D rendering. This is the first tier of data extraction through visualization. Your professional expert can very quickly see areas, opportunities of improvement or productivity gain. Second area of improvement is structure this data into a so-called asset performance management framework, which is targeting the asset by defining the asset with device profiles, their physical models, and then the site infrastructure, the space topology, how these assets are deployed, where it's fixed or it's mobile, right? Then the management staff that is responsible for, for correlating to the site and then the assets. So it itself actually offer a configuration driven type of asset services. And the most advanced label is actually bringing the AI frameworks, all right? And AI, we talked a lot uh, in the first session. Then it's mostly for large-scale pre-built models. This AI framework service, AI AFS, is actually for customers who want to customize, tune the model themselves, all right? So um, it would cover from zero to one, not having a model to having one AI model that works. From one to N, that one working AI model, you want to replicate them through many equipments. Often that, that AI model needs to be recalibrated, retuned, because of even though it's the same equipment, it has been used differently, it has been positioned at a different location, that it build up some deviation from the machine next to it. And then on one side, you have many, many, many AI models that you would orchestrate them and put them to work together. So AFS would manage compute resource, the data, the algorithm, and the life cycle of the management. The AI model itself goes through evolution of versions to gain more and more accuracy. And then mass deployment at edge to the embedded systems that we have been pro progressing very quickly. So uh, Y stack, uh, as I mentioned, there is a life, uh, ex uh, life's, uh, live demo uh, at the booth uh, for those customers who insist data has to be on site. So my last slide. Um, we are already world number one in embedded system where product selling very well with good margin, with good quantity. It's a good business. 
extend to a uh, service provider that we have designed services, right? Then, you know, we have devised on another good value add to enrich the offering. And then we are extending to the platform with Marketplace 2.0. This is a so-called many make, many sell business model. We complete edge to cloud offering together with ecosystem partners. It's with your collaboration. Together we make the journey successfully. And then we would like to extend business from transaction, one-time business, to subscription, recurring income business. Uh, wish you all have a very productive stay uh, in Taiwan, and thank you for your time.